Hey everybody, welcome back. I got another how-to video for you. For all you people that got your uh, 90s model uh, XJ Jeep Cherokees uh, or anything with this 4.0 liter uh, straight six the uh, with the throttle body, uh, a couple of things I found out. Uh, I went through a lot of, uh, I had a low idle and it wouldn't stay running a lot. So, but let me show you what is going on and how an easy, cheap fix. All right, let's check this out. I'll try to get down there and show you. But right here is the stop and there's a set screw for the idle. But the screw head is from the bottom up, meaning to adjust it, you would have to take off this uh, throttle body. I'm going to show you my easy, uh, cheap fix for that. Well, you don't have to take it off. What we're going to do, we're going to try to put this hose clamp around it, but let me show you first. As you see the set screw down there, it comes from the bottom. So we don't want to take all that off just to raise it up a little bit. So I'm going to put this hose clamp on there and, uh, and let it, and use it for a shim. It takes a little bit of uh, doing to get that hose clamp around that tight little area. You may have different size hose clamps that might work better. So if you got an assortment, figure out which one's right for you. This, I don't have many, so I'm gonna try this one. I've already had it on there once. And, uh, but let me show you what happened. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a little bit of a problem to get that hose clamp started back in its uh, groove right there. So, I'm gonna try to get it started here. Okay, we got her started. And let me show you. You can see right behind there uh, where the hose clamp goes. Between the spring and that bracket. All right, uh, if you can see right here, gonna cause it's gonna create a little shim on there but the trick is is to get it on there without the rest of the hose the tail end of the hose clamp right here doubling up and it'll give you too high of an aisle and so that's why I'm redoing this and I decided to shoot a video for it because this part right here is actually slipping down on top of the screw between the screw and the bracket and cause me a high idle at times. So I'm gonna try to fix that. Right, as you can see, I got the hose clamp on there. And I'll show you on her side what it looks like. And that's gonna give us just enough shim to should give us about the right idle. Let's uh, crank it up and see what it sounds like. As you can see, uh, it's idling pretty good right now. And uh, but if this is not really tight, it's better even better if you can move that up as far as you can, keep any overlap from getting in between the screw. You don't want you don't want two uh, thicknesses of that hose clamp between there. It'll be way too high. Anyway, that's a quick fix to uh, you got a really low idle. You need to adjust it up some and. You don't want to take all that stuff apart. You can use a shim like that, hose clamp, whatever, but you could do it on the side of the road if you had to, if you got one extra or you got one in your rig, uh, whatever you're doing. Uh, anyway, uh, just trying to share my tips with you. This is a free-range nomad. You never know what's going to happen next. See you.